The way this Dallas Mavericks team is currently constructed, it's really hard to see them do anything less than make it back to the NBA Finals. Every little problem we had, any little deficiency was quickly fixed by Nico Harrison in the front office over the summer, and the team looks very prepared and ready to go into another season where we can contend for another championship. And just like myself, a lot of people agree that the only thing that can really stop the Dallas Mavericks are the Dallas Mavericks. Or injuries, as it feels like it's already getting started. It was reported earlier this afternoon on Twitter where fans were just going through every range of emotion because Luka Doncic is currently injured. He suffered an injury about a week ago, and in the next one to two weeks, will be reevaluated to see if he's ready to start the season. As well as a few other players in training camp getting injured as well. So in this video, we're going to take a look at all the information that we have, see what's going on, if there's any real cause for concern. But how's it going, everybody? My name is Marcel Martin. This is Mavericks Digest, bringing the latest news on everything Mavericks related. And before we get started with today's video, we are currently sitting at 13,315 subscribers. We gained like 30 new Digest family members in the course of like two days, which is amazing. As you all know, I've got a goal of hitting 15K before the end of the year. And if you want to be up to date on everything Mavericks related, the live streams, the watch alongs, the giveaways, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on a single thing that we do. But, like I said in the intro, the Dallas Mavericks roster is constructed in a way where it really feels, it, 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 it's almost impossible. Something that you really can't believe that this team could fail to make it back to the finals. Any little problem that we had, any other weakness that this roster showed in the playoffs was quickly fixed. We got better defenders, better shooters. We have more championship pedigree in Klay Thompson. We have some leaders in the locker room as well. The Dallas Mavericks is getting ready for another amazing season, and it should be, and it shouldn't fall anything short of another finals appearance. And, like I also said the only thing that could really stop the Dallas Mavericks are the Dallas Mavericks or another injury and if we look right here it was reported earlier this afternoon the Dallas Mavericks announced today that the Mavericks guard Luka Doncic sustained a hit during workouts this week resulting in a left calf contusion Doncic will be reevaluated as necessary in one week and at first the entire Mavericks Twitter space was just in just in a frenzy. Even I was at work just freaking out. I'm like, this isn't what you want to hear two, three weeks before the start of the season. We have 22 days to the start of the NBA season. You're telling me my best player is now hurt dealing with a left calf contusion? Whatever really that means. I mean, they said that he's going to be reevaluated in a week, so maybe it's not that bad. And in all reality, the news really isn't something to really freak out over, but it's just something you really don't want to hear heading into the season. You want to hear nothing but positive vibes that Luke is healthy Clay Thompson's hitting his shots Kyrie Irving's hands feeling better which Kyrie did admit in media day on Monday his hand is doing better so that's good for Kyrie but for Luka Doncic it looks like he's dealing with an injury but if we do continue uh, there was another update. This this whole afternoon was a whirlwind of emotions. N news was just flying left and right. But it, the news was followed with an update saying this injury did not occur during the Dallas Mavericks training camp. It was during a workout this past weekend while Luka Doncic was still in Dallas. So that kind of makes you feel better because it's not like this happened today during training camp, which we did report that Jason Kidd has these guys doing two-a-days for the first two days of training camp. So at first, I was like, okay, maybe Jason Kidd's got these guys doing a little bit too much. You're putting a little bit too much strain on their bodies. They got to warm up to it but if he if if Luca got this injury a few days ago this past weekend and we're just now hearing about it most likely he's getting checked on very soon and they're going to know probably by the end of the week what's really going on but like I said if it's just a week it really isn't that bad but Luka Doncic is no stranger to left cap contusions which is which is another reason why fans shouldn't freak out and like I said it it's not something you want to hear that your best player is hurt on any level of injury I'm I'm just glad it's nothing too serious, but it's still something you just don't want to hear, and it definitely sounds a lot worse than it is. But Luka Doncic has he's, he's had lower body injuries. I mean, we saw him go through the entire playoffs with two bloody knees. He had something wrong with his ribs, something wrong with his shoulder, something wrong with his ankle. The man was getting numbing injections, pain painkillers pretty much, to make sure he was able to actually play well and not have to deal with the pain. For the most part, Luka Doncic, although he does deal with injury, he's very durable as he really isn't out for long periods of time he bounces back and his game is hardly ever affected and again we saw in the playoffs even while playing through injury he was still able to to help this team make it to the finals but like i said we don't want to hear anything going on of any type of injuries for any player we want this upcoming season to go as smoothly as possible but if we continue with the reports like i said this afternoon was crazy 
Uh, Jason Kidd said Luka Doncic underwent an MRI yesterday and will miss Monday's preseason opener against Memphis. So, okay, like I said, I mean, if if this injury happened a few days ago, then this means that they're already on top of everything. From my understanding, it was it was a practice that he was, or I'm sorry, it was a workout that Luka was doing. He got a little bit banged up, but it wasn't until the other day where he mentioned, hey, I got knocked around, my calf still hurts. Can we get this checked out? So cool. Get your MRI. It's okay if you missed the preseason opener, although I would have loved to see you and Clay and Kyrie all on the court together. I, I guess I have to wait for that. That's fine. Your health does come first, Luca. That's cool. But it's a good thing that we're getting on top of it because although this could be absolutely nothing, very small, which it most likely is, it's good to know that the team is not taking any chances on this. We have our window. I mean, our window to compete is right now. We are in that window. No matter how big or small an injury is, we need to take every little thing that happens as serious as possible because nothing needs to get in the way of this team. I said it before. The only thing that can stop the Dallas Mavericks are ourselves, albeit if it's if it's Jason Kidd being a, just a weird coach again with the lineups and just having laps of judgment, or if it's players just not getting along in the locker room or players just refusing to really give it their all. It's only us. It's only going to be us. We are the only ones to blame. If we fall short of the finals, we won't be able to blame anyone else the roster is the best it's ever been jason kidd is locked in ready to go he has the right mentality the players have the right mentality and overall the vibes are just very high on this roster everybody seems to really enjoy each other all the way from luka Doncic down to dwight powell and maxi kleba everybody enjoys being a dallas maverick so there really is no excuse but let us continue luka Doncic's history of left calf injuries specifically his left calf, for whatever reason. On 4 10 he had a calf strain where he missed 13 days and returned for Game 4 against Utah. 10 9 he had another calf strain, missed the rest of preseason outside of 5 minutes against Real Madrid, and returned 16 days later. And then today, he had another calf contusion. So, he could miss up to 2 weeks, which is totally fine. Take your time. We have about 22 days left until the start of the NBA season. I do want to see Luka with the guys in preseason, but also, like I said, I don't want to rush it. Health is for, health, your health comes first your health is important don't want to risk anything getting worse heading into the season especially when we have the new additions of clay thompson Najee marshall quentin grimes it's imperative that everybody is at their absolute best and able to play with each other the one of the biggest issues that we had last season was our starting five rotation kept changing going into the playoffs our starting five had the least amount of minutes played together compared to any other starting five in the nba which is still impressive because we made the finals with a starting five that had the least amount of time played together which is insane. But going into this upcoming season, I'd kind of want our starting five to have more than just the least amount of minutes. If we're second to last, okay, cool. Something probably happened. Injuries are part of the game. But it'd be nice to have one of the starting fives that has the most time played together. And the reports do continue. Jason Kidd said there is no concern about Luka Doncic's injury and he'll be reevaluated in a week. Kidd added, I think he got hit in the calf and reported tight yesterday. The wind got an MRI and saw that it was a strain. So there we go. So it happened recently. They're on top of it. It isn't something that just happened just now. So in conclusion, is it something to be worried about? Is it something to freak out about? No. But like I said, it's something that you don't want to hear. It's 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 not the thing that your championship contending team wants to put out. So that's probably why they waited a little bit before they even announced that, hey, Luca's got an injury. They were probably like, hey, let's take a look at it ourselves, see how serious it is, and then we'll talk about it. Unlike other teams, the, the Dallas Mavericks are very honest with what's going on with our players. And like I said before, during the playoffs, Luka Dodgers was hurt for every single game, but we always knew exactly what it was. So I trust the reports. I don't think they're just trying to downplay something more serious. I think it's exactly what it is calf strain he's had him before give him about a week or two he'll be back before the start of the season and he'll be ready to go but that's not the only thing that happened today because it was also reported uh jason kidd said maxi kleba and kessler edwards weren't able to participate in today's practice he revealed they both have sprained ankles they're a little ways away so that is a little bit concerning kessler edwards will be playing for our g league team the dallas uh, legends so i'm not to worry about kessler edwards i was hoping to see him in some garbage time this season just to see what what he looks like i think he could be a long-term project for us but maxi kleba having sprained ankles could be an issue for us i mean we saw in the playoffs he had that really nasty shoulder injury that he, that that he sustained in the first round against the clippers and by the time he came back he just really wasn't maxi right so over the summer we're like okay you got enough time to, to to relax to rest recover come back next season and help us out in the best way that you can 
But now he got sprained ankles, and now I'm really worried about the health of Maxi. And I know a lot of people aren't that high on Maxi. They feel like we need to trade him. He really isn't the same person. And although the eye test doesn't show it, the advanced numbers do show that Maxi does attribute positively, at least on the defensive end, when healthy, of course. And we know that when healthy, he can also knock down threes, play, play some good defense, and do all the things that we ask him to. But if he has a serious ankle sprain, if he's going to continue to get injured, that position could be a little weak going up, going into going into the next season where we have PJ at the four. Maxi should be his backup. Probably have to throw in Najee Marshall in there. Maybe even Gafford will have to play at the four if Maxi isn't available. Probably have to slide somebody to the maybe have to put Dwight Powell at the five so someone else can go to the four. I'm not too sure. It's up to Jason Kidd on how he's going to manage all these injuries and with his roster. But the good problem that we have is that the roster is pretty flexible. We are pretty deep. We don't really have a lot of just dead bodies at the end of the bench that we can't trust. We have a pretty reliable roster. It's a good problem to have where you can really just plug and play whatever player you feel like you want to play. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. With all these injuries, are you concerned? Or are you like me? It's whatever. Give them their rest. Don't push them too hard. In 22 days, we'll be right back. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. We can have a conversation about it. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for making this far into the video. Make sure to check our Twitter and Discord. Links in the description below. Consider becoming a channel member. We are doing another giveaway. The winner will be announced next weekend. This Sunday, I will be at Fan Jam at the American Airlines Center. If you see me, say what's up. But until next time, y'all take care. Drink water. Peace.